is money available to you that can lower your Medicare prescription costs. How much can you save? Find out now by making a free call to Health Markets. They'll search from a variety of nationally recognized plans to find you the right coverage at a price that fits your budget. And they'll do all this valuable research for you at no charge to you. And remember, you may be able to save money on your prescriptions. We'll tell you if you qualify. Why pay a penny more than you have to for an insurance policy? Let us find you the right plan at the right price and see if you qualify to lower your prescription costs. Put our free service to work for you at no charge. Call Health Markets right now. 800-990-0351. 800-990-0351. 800-990-0351. That's 800-990-0351. Health Markets Insurance Agency is the DBA of InSphere Insurance Solutions, Inc. Licensed in all 50 states and D.C. Service and product availability varies by state. Agents may be compensated based on your enrollment. Hello, CRN listeners. This is Michael Horn inviting you to join me and my co-host, Samia Nicole Nielsen from Roos Chris Steakhouse as we present What's Cooking on Wine. Find out about the latest trends in wine, great food, spirits, and a whole lot more. It's What's Cooking on Wine done live at 6 o'clock Monday nights at Roos Chris Steakhouse in Pasadena, California, and then the replays throughout the weekend right here on CRN. So if you love wine and you love great food, it's What's Cooking on Wine right here on CRN. Welcome to the lounge, the sports lounge. Every week at this time, I'm Michael Horn, the star of our show. Our main number one host, the all-pro defensive end, the sultan of safeties. Two safeties in one game in the same quarter, the acting legend, the superstar, Mr. Fred Dreyer. Thank you so very much. Welcome to our show, and thank you for tuning in and spending this hour with us. Um, we have lots of stuff to talk about, baseball, basketball, oh, football, boy. and one of the things we have to talk about is the sudden and surprising death of Aaron Hernandez. It's been a big topic on this show, but before we get to that, if we can, oh. let's take a look at a memory lane shot here just to kind of find out. First off, how was your week? Have you, did you have a good week? Everything been going well with you? I, I've been busy. I've been up and down, in and out, as they say. What, well, like what kind of things? What makes you busy? What kind of things are you working on? New projects? New acting You, you know projects? what it is? I'll tell you what it is. What is Maybe it? the ladies and gentlemen listening to the show will recognize uh, what I'm about to say. Um, I'm, I'm, have always been pretty uh, responsible. Yeah, you are a very responsible person. I would uh, and, uh, knowing you and that I have. What's difficult it. now in this stretch of my life is I'm coming across people that aren't responsible that this, I'm that I'm dealing with that for some reason either don't understand English or or have some sort of a learning impediment or hearing impediment because or they've just I've been spoiled well I, I don't know what it is I mean there's a generation I think of people that were raised where they got so many things they just expect things and they're not responsible for their own actions and getting something. Well, so there's yes, there's certain things that that take time to do, whether it's overnight, the weekend, a month, or or longer. But the point is, is that I seem to be recently hooked up on several different fronts, on several different separate issues, projects with, with people yeah. that who are brain dead. Yeah, it's tough to get through to them and make them and have them understand. You say something, you say it again, and it just doesn't pass through. It's like it's almost there's a blockade there where you can't communicate. I, I have this recurring dream, and that is oh. where I am. I am strapped to a gigantic log, okay. and I'm adrift at sea. Gotcha. With a lot of people that I don't want to be around. And you can't move because you're strapped to the and log. We're all in the same bathwater, aren't we? We're yeah. all in the ocean. We're all bobbing and weaving. The sun goes up. The sun goes down. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I make my uh, my rounds and I and I uh, uh, get rid of people as, as fast as I can. And but I'm still surrounded by people that uh, that drive me crazy. And uh, uh, I'm in the pro I, I'm in a uh, I'm in an eddy. You know what an eddy is, right? 
Yeah, I believe that's Where the uh, leaf goes into the side of the stream, and it falls into this little cove, and it just keeps going around and around. That's where I've been. So when you ask me how my weekend's been, that's how it's been. Dealing with those people. Yeah. I was in an eddy once. I think it was a 1956 eddy. And um thing had a uh, 4, uh, 4, 4, uh, 410 cubic inch uh, displacement, as I recall. It was pretty good, the eddy that I drove. That's a different Eddie than the one you're talking about. Boy, it was a German car. Boy, is it. Yeah. All right, hey, we got to remind you, Fred is on Twitter, and um, follow him. Fred underscore Dreyer, D-R-Y-E-R. His Facebook page just went out today is, like, exploding. So you want to follow him on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the real Fred Dreyer. And when we get back, we will talk about Aaron Hernandez. And you can email him, Fred Dreyer, F-R-E-D, there's your Fred D-R-Y-E-R is your dryer. Fred Dryer at crntalk.com. After a rough day on the range, a feller can get a bit saddle sore. That's why I use Blue Emu Original Super Strength Cream. It works fast and penetrates deep to soothe my tired muscles and joints. And he don't stink. And I'll tell you one thing. I had no idea this stuff was so darn handy. Blue Emu Original Super Strength Cream. Available at all major retailers. It works fast for long-lasting soothing of tired muscles and joints. And you won't stink. It's here, the biggest flooring event of the year. Lumber Liquidator's 14th Annual April Sale with five days of once-in-a-lifetime prices on top-quality North American and European laminate from 49 cents. Pre-finished hardwood from just 119 Bamboo from 139 Get wood-look waterproof floors from 59 cents. Limited-time deals on small lots from 29 cents and more. Plus special financing. Don't miss it. New deals added daily. Get to the April Sale at Lumber Liquidator's today. In the Lounge, I'm Michael Horn along with Fred Dreyer. It's our Sports Lounge. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition. Lots to talk about. Let's go football first. Big story. Fred Dreyer even uh, teased on this one here at the beginning of the show. Aaron Hernandez. Aaron Hernandez, dead at the age of 27. They found Young. Him, they found him in his uh, prison cell in Massachusetts uh, State Correctional Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center in Massachusetts found Aaron dead in his cell, and, uh, and so uh, and he was uh, convicted of murder, and then there was a second charge, and he didn't get convicted in that one. But what the heck? I don't know why they had the second case because he was already in prison for life for the first murder, where, where he murdered another uh, NFL player. Correct? Yeah. And uh, you know, and, and I've come across people who uh, who have uh, different opinions about all of this in terms of how they feel about it. First of all, it is a crying shame that all of this has to happen, uh, certainly. Uh, but I, I I keep interrupting people, you know, after they tell me that this isn't, isn't this a shame, I say, yes, it is a shame. It's clear. And without being heartless, I say it's also a shame that there's three other people who aren't here. Uh, oh, that's a big shame. And that uh, that that were that died, uh, or, or or at least one has died at the hands of uh, Aaron Hernandez. And the other two, he was uh, he was acquitted of. But uh, the 2013 murder of Odin Lloyd, he was convicted of, and he is serving a a life in prison uh, term without the possibility of parole. And yesterday, I guess it was, or this morning. Uh, they found him in his cell. Aaron, well, this is the weekend Aaron, show, so Aaron last Aaron Hernandez, week, yes. yes, last week. Aaron Hernandez uh, was uh, hung himself. That's what they say. That's so, what they say. There's that's the thought whether it was a murder, whether he hung himself, whatever. One yeah. weird note is there is apparently the uh, the item that he used, the sheet that he used to hang himself, apparently some sports reporter got a hold of it and uh, took it to Mexico and they found it there. Yeah, I, but, it's too but, soon to make jokes. But, I'm sorry. But, no, 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 it's not. It, okay, it, it, thank it, you. It, it's just not a good joke. I'll I mean, thank you. Okay. You can, a good joke is welcome. But okay. Not a mediocre one. Okay, That's I'm not sorry. a mediocre okay, one. I'll you try to capitalize on the on I'll the Brady uh, missing jersey. That yeah. was. A, that's a good effort. See, but, you got it. But but I every time Aaron Hernandez's name comes up, and it has been over in the last six months recently because of this trial, uh, uh, is. Uh, 
is uh, you know I, I remember uh, a long time ago when, when he was uh, when he when they first arrested him in 2013 on this murder rap. Uh, I remember that uh, having a conversation with someone that uh, Aaron Hernandez was a tight end at uh, University of Florida. And I think uh, uh, Urban Meyer was the head coach down there at the time. And, of course, the pro scouts, pro football scouts came down to, you know, as they usually do, they swarm down and wherever there's talent, they, they show up with their clipboard and stopwatch. And so uh, they're, they're looking at Aaron Hernandez, and they go into, into the – into the coach's office to talk to Urban Meyer about Hernandez and her and Urban Meyer says, look, look just so you guys should know, this guy's a gangbanger. Go, go take a look at his tattoos. You got to get in, you know, you know, the league now has to have a, a, a pedigree in how they read tattoos because they mean something. And especially if you're in a gang, I agree with you. Okay, so so they 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 go in and take a look at him, and they realize, yeah, this guy is a gangbanger, and he's kind of a savory, unsavory character. So uh, they say, well, he he's the number one talent, number one draft choice talent, but uh, because of that issue and the fear that he's not a good citizen, the New England Patriots he dropped down into the fourth round, and the Patriots picked him up. So when he came to the Patriots. Everybody in the league, including the Patriots, were well aware that this guy was not a, a pretty, very good guy. So he now performs real well and now gets into a position where he's now earned a $40 million four-year contract. $40 million for four years. And so now he chooses this, this criminal brain, bad brain, chooses to, to kill and to... And to uh, and to act out in such a fashion in, instead of uh, having an opportunity come by his, his uh, window to where he could now possibly change his life around and, and start over could again. Could have started over, but he didn't. But he didn't. He chose that. You know, so I always look at I always look at the path of of, of how these people uh, uh, perform. The choices in life. they make, their and, responsibility, and the choices yeah. they make, exactly correct. And and so here we have three dead people, and now a fourth because Aaron Hernandez is, is dead. dead. Now they say that the, they think he was murdered. Well, well, here's the thing: they said first off, they they checked it out, and they said that he he hung himself. He had, uh, as we mentioned, he had been acquitted in a double murder case just the week before. His lawyer right. uh, also believed he had a shot at getting this previous murder conviction maybe overturned. But the officials at the um, at that uh, Sousa Barnarski Correctional Center in Massachusetts you mentioned found him dead in his cell. And the quote was, Mr. Hernandez hanged himself utilizing a bed sheet that he attached to his cell window. That's what a representative said. They also said Mr. Hernandez also attempted to block his door from the inside by jamming the door with various items. So if it was a murder why would his door be blocked from the inside well exactly and 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 here's the other thing if it's a murder in prison isn't he stabbed yeah they don't, they don't let's all him. run down to aaron's room and and hang, and hang him. him no, that, no that's yeah. not going to work yeah. so they're going to get him at chow they're going to get him out in the basketball court they're going to stab him they're going to kill him there was no suicide note at the scene uh, you know, the sad part of this is he's got a four-year-old daughter yep. that uh, is going to have this hung around here for the rest of her life. And, yep. uh, and you know, we talk about him. We talk about the other three people involved that are no yep. uh, longer with us. And so uh, there's probably a lot of security footage. They'll be investigating all this and get the information out as well, too. Yeah, I, that's right. And uh, and so uh, a, a, another NFL success story is, is a friend it's of sad, mine that I it? used to call it, it, it you know, uh, the the choice is amazing, stupefying, actually, where somebody could actually be such a, 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 a rotten person and someone say to him, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you $40 million for four years to play for us, and we're going to probably win some Super Bowls. And from, 19, from 2012 to 2017, it's five-year, four-year, five-year period of time, you're going to win a couple of Super Bowls, and you'll have an opportunity for a lot of other things in your life. Uh, uh, what do you say? Nah. And yeah. he's going to go out and uh, he's going to uh, he's going to shake down other gangbangers and he's going to get uh, you know uh, a gun. He's going to go shoot him like he did this Odin character, and this poor guy uh, is dead and his family's compromised. Look at the people who are compromised in all this. Yeah, he's from the the four year old the daughter to the three. Yeah, people it's just dead. you know it just goes on. It's one, it's one incident and it, and it and it reverberates in such a fashion. It's heartbreaking certainly for everybody. 
But that's the way it is, and uh, today uh, we've got Aaron Hernandez dead at 27. So there it is. It is different. Uh, I don't know. It's a, a, a terrible story when you mention the gang influence, and that gets into professional sports and things. And again, it's like uh, everybody's human, and everybody is uh, in this. But it, you know, it, it, when you were playing, it didn't seem like there were gang influences in football or anything of that Certainly nature. Certainly not. Yeah. Right. Certainly. Never not. heard one story it was, like it that. It was a complete different culture. And uh, you know it was it was a tight community. I always say this, Mike, and 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 it's uh, I think it's bared itself out, is that I played from sixty nine to eighty one, and eighty one, eighty, eighty one, eighty two is when ESPN and and cable news and the explosion of a new uh, collective bargaining agreement hit. That's when the sport exploded. The money went up. And uh, uh, I, I'm so I'm glad in many ways that I played my dids. Would I like to have the money? Sure. But at the same time, I, I, I'm also uh, glad I, li- I, I lived and played when I did. Fred Dreyer here on the Sports Lounge, nationwide, coast to coast. Stay with us here every week at this time. Follow Fred on Twitter, Fred underscore Dreyer. <laughs> You know, Fred Dry and I have been talking about BlueApron.com, where they send you fresh food right to your house with the recipes and everything. And you've been using this Fred Dryer, and you uh, made dinner for me the other night. Yes, I did. I had my Blue Apron on, and uh, I noticed you you uh, you didn't bring your Blue Apron with no, you, but no. uh, we put a beach towel around you, and and you did quite w- nicely getting that food shoved in there. Salmon piccata was delicious, and you got all the fresh yeah. ingredients. They give you the recipe with it. It's less than ten dollars a person. There's uh, so many new recipes. It's flexible. You can customize the recipes. Very easy to do. We were watching TV while you put the meal together. You can't beat it. There's a knock on the door. They deliver it. You put it in the oven. You cook it and put it in your favorite type pie, uh, pie tins. And uh, you're sitting there in front of the TV. And the next thing you know, you're falling asleep. Brew Apron has a uh, freshness guarantee for you. Here's the best part. You get your first three meals free with free shipping. You go to blueapron.com. Put in the keyword dryer. That's blue apron, B-L-U-E-A-P-R-O-N.com forward slash dryer, D-R-Y-E-R. Hi, friends. This is Larry Minetti. Go to LarryMinetti.com to get my book, Aloha Magnum. You'll read all about the wonderful guest stars like Carol Burnett, Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, and many, many more. There is an episode guide and my favorite recipes that I really cook at home. I will include a free signed photo with every book. Get Aloha Magnum at LarryMinetti.com. Order now. Aloha. Located in the heart of Maui's premier resort, Kanapali Beach Hotel is officially recognized as Hawaii's most Hawaiian hotel and the number one best value in Hawaii. With a range of accommodations and affordable dining options, this is the ideal setting to turn Hawaiian dreams into lifelong memories. Live Hawaiian entertainment every evening, free year-round children's programs, weekly arts and crafts fairs, welcome breakfast, and departure kukui lei ceremonies add to the value. Swim in the whale-shaped pool, indulge in the fabulous spa and hotel salon. Enjoy Hawaiian hospitality at its best at the Ka'anapali Beach Hotel. Call 800-262-8450 or go to kbhmaui.com. That's kbhmaui.com. Aloha. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call one 800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Call right now and receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-785-9618. Donate your car today. That's 1-800-785-9618. This good bumper music on our sports lounge show that makes you want to get up and dance like a basketball player at midcourt during the playoffs. Busting a couple of moves here and there. I'm Michael Horn. Doing a couple of busted moves himself, the star of our show, Sultan of Safety's All Pro Defensive and the acting legend Fred Dreyer. Fred, let me ask you this question. You kind of brought it up here with this um, this uh, tragic story of Aaron Hernandez, the uh, 
the murders and the life sentence and then the quitting of a couple other murders and then he kills himself and uh, he, he, that didn't happen there was no gang influence when you were playing football in your era of the game but someone once told me once that you're okay in celebrity status as long as you keep yourself grounded. And you, to me, have always been a grounded person. You had a good family upbringing. You seem to be a, a grounded guy today. But here's a question that I think a lot of our audience would want to ask, and I want to ask this question, is when you get the celebrity, when you become Fred Dreyer, the football star, or Fred Dreyer, hunter, I mean, you had it twice. You had it as a, a sports career, and then you still have it in your acting career when you come out and people come to you, oh, Fred, that was great, and Fred, I saw you in this, and oh, here's a free cigar, Fred, let me pick up your dinner and all this. I call it the Elvis factor. It's like Elvis was okay when he was Elvis, the son, and performing, but as soon as he believed he was Elvis, as soon as he... As he When he bought into the legend that he was Elvis Presley, that's when he ballooned up. That's when he didn't want to go out and meet people. That's when he was the star on stage. That's a thing you got to avoid sometimes in professional sports and in the, the, the uh, motion picture and television business, right? I mean, you can't become the legend when you start believing that you are Fred Dreyer, superstar. Am I right? Well, uh, I, I think it's true. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. In any facet of life, any – Wherever your success arc takes you as you grow up and and things come your way and as they say life happens to you yeah then then uh, it's up to the individual you don't you have no idea how you're going to respond when uh, uh, somebody somebody uh, puts fifty million dollars in your pocket overnight that's that's right. that's one thing but if you work up to it and you realize i'm i'm on track to be successful in life then what comes my way does not shake me off the tracks. But you're successful in life, and you can go home from that job and still have your family. You're grounded. You got something. You got your own life that you're on. So if you didn't have that, you would still be comfortable in your own shoes. It's when you start believing that you've got these superstar shoes. I think that get people, celebrities, in trouble. Sometimes they become bigger than life when they believe they're bigger than life. When they believe it, that's when they have a problem. Well, probably. Uh, but it's all uh, uh, the success like this in sports. I'll just keep it to sports. But it's this way in in life, uh, no matter what. But in sports, let's take let's take uh, you know football here. Uh, you know when when you have nothing, and somebody comes around and says you have dr- great value to us. Here's all this money. Uh, it, it can destroy you because there's no uh, there's no relevance to it. You know, here you are with all this behavior, and this is where you come from. You don't have anything. Your family doesn't have anything. You come from a bad neighborhood, and and, and we're talking about the extremes here. And and uh, you know, what is what is the uh, what's what's the offshoot of that? What happens to the individual? Well, he's got uh, now he's got all this money. Everyone's looking at him and demanding and wanting from him or her. Right. You know, what is he? What? How does he? How does he function? What does he do? And, and so uh, I can't just suddenly, I can't suddenly, because I went to school, now I moved away and I went to college and then I got a job and I got married and I did this progression of life that led you to believing you deserved and earned whatever it is you got to the point where you just, you're 20, 19, 25, 21, and someone pulls a truck up and dumps Seventy-five million dollars on your lawn, yeah. and, and and now you're now you have to now you know that you don't deserve it, and and and, and that you didn't take you didn't have enough time to earn it. You know what I mean? You didn't have enough time to 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 believe the fact that yes, I earn this money. It, the it, curve is much faster in professional it's, sports. It's, it happens overnight. No, it, it can crush you and yeah. crush families. Yeah. And it can, it can, you know, and, and it can cause people uh, to do all kinds of things. And, uh, you know, here, here is Aaron Hernandez has this lifestyle that he's more familiar with and has a, has a structure to than he does when he was playing pro football. And suddenly he's rewarded in pro football. He didn't make $40 million selling dope and, 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 and sharing it with his friends. He, he made it outside his uh, the the the, uh, the the world he knew and was most comfortable in
Yeah, that's true. All right, we have a, it's a good discussion here, and you can go on on this, but it brings it to true to four for everybody. You are in tune with the Sports Lounge. That's Fred Dreyer. I'm Michael Horn, CRN Digital Talk Radio. Glad to have you aboard. Facebook.com forward slash The Real Fred Dreyer. Check it out. This is the Mungle on Movies. I'm Matt Mungle. The R-rated thriller Unforgettable opens this week about a woman determined to make life unbearable for her ex-husband's new wife. It stars Rosario Dawson, who likes this about the story. What I really like is that journey. You see someone who's excited about this new step towards their future and their dreams, and I'm in love, I'm excited, I'm happy. When's the other shoe going to drop, you know? And For more reviews, interviews, and movie info, visit MungleShow.com or follow me on Twitter at the Mungle. CRN List. Listeners, when you come to Southern California, stop by a great restaurant, the Dresden Restaurant at 1760 North Vermont Avenue in Hollywood. Enjoy great entertainment, like the music of the legendary Marty and Elaine at the world-famous Dresden Restaurant. The Dresden was a location for the making of the movie Swingers. Now you can swing with stars Marty and Elaine. Plus, enjoy great food, too, like French onion soup, artichoke hearts, and many other great appetizers. Seafood? There's salmon, shrimp scampi, New Zealand orange roughy, halibut, Lake Superior whitefish, and specialties like veal marsala, piccata, and parmigiana. Plus, we've got a great roast rack of lamb, chicken piccata, and cordon bleu, and pasta dishes, too. Steaks? Filet. New York. Chateaubriand for two. Much more, too, including pork chops, prime rib of beef, and an incredibly extra large cut of prime rib. It's the Dresden Restaurant, open for lunch Monday through Saturday and dinner Monday through Sunday. Check us out at 1760 North Vermont Avenue or call 323-665-4294. Credit cards are sure fun to use, perhaps a little addicting, and they kind of make you feel rich. Well, if you're like most Americans, you've got over five maxed out credit cards in your pocket right now, and you can barely make the minimum payments, right? I'd like to personally recommend a company called DebtHelper.com. DebtHelper.com is a licensed and insured nonprofit debt management agency. They can help cut your interest rates by as much as 50% and lower your monthly payments, saving you thousands of dollars in finance charges on your credit card bills. DebtHelper.com does not lend money. DebtHelper's program could have you paying off your credit card debt in full in a three to five year period. Call DebtHelper.com right now for your free confidential consultation today. 866-706-3328-866-706-3328-866-706-3328. Michael Horn and Fred Dreyer for you for Solar Optimum. We come and broadcast from the Solar Optimum Studios, uh, 818-745-1489. This is a big deal. You can save energy if you put solar power on your house. Am I right, Fred Dreyer? Well, listen, if you're tired of those offensive uh, power bills, which I know I am. I, I had a bill the other day for $683. That's just completely outrageous. Anything over 150 bucks, you, you got to get Solar Optimum. And they now have this Tesla battery that uh, not only is there for you in a power outage, like an earthquake, or the wind blows out the power, or something hits and the power line goes out or whatever, but it's there for you in the evening to trickle in more power into your house so you can save even more money. You can go and find out more information and get that Tesla battery in your home. Am I right? Yes, you can. And uh, all you got to do is call 818-745-1489. Don't be left out in the cold and the dark. Save your family. Get light in there. 818 745 1489 solar power and the Tesla backup battery 818-745-1489 any Napa guy knows and science proves the best minivan is the one you've already got part kid transporter part drywall mover who cares if the faux wood grain is a little faded that was a platinum package option in 1987 with over 400,000 parts and a little Napa know-how you can keep anything on the road because it's not old, it's vintage. That's Napa Know How. We are back in the sports lounge. Got a woo there from uh, Fred Dreyer, the star of our show, the all-pro defensive end, the sultan of safeties. Two safeties in one game in the same quarter. And the acting legend from Hunter, Land's End, so many different TV shows. He was in Crisis a couple of years ago. Last year he was uh, Agent X. And it's, uh, the acting career continues. And now the radio career. Here he is once again, 
Fred Dreyer. Thanks so very much, Michael Horn. And uh, I'm looking forward to our dinner tonight. We're going to have uh, a nice dinner, you and I and some friends. Are you buying? Is this your turn? <laughs> no. No, it's, I did it last time. I I think I did it last you time. You did it last time? I think so. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll give, it, give we'll, it to Andy. We'll, no, we'll give it to Andy. Andy uh, uh, Andy Camacho, who's a great guy. This guy's a great man. He's uh, works with the he's, you know, he's Rams guy, right? He's, he's a at very the, good man. He's a okay, very good yeah. man. So here's the deal: uh, basketball. Yeah, we can talk about Charles Barkley. This guy's yeah. in some trouble right now, isn't he? Well, I don't know if he should be, but I don't uh, think he should be. But uh, you know, he uh, he was he commented, uh, you know, you know, recently uh, over the over the last several days, you know. Uh, uh, here's here's let me uh, set Isa- it up right. Isaiah, yeah. Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, Isaiah the- Thomas's brother was. Uh, was killed in a car crash. Yes, and so Charles Barkley is in the TNT broadcast booth, and they showed a clip of Isaiah Thomas getting emotional on the bench. And so Charles Barkley is a commentator. You've talked about this before, bringing out the the moments of the game, and he made some comments, and some fans said they were too, too critical. And this uh, Barkley said, quoting now, I'm not feeling comfortable with him sitting on the sideline crying like that. That tells me he's not in shape to play. Now Barkley's talking about the game. Obviously, you have an emotional setback. Your brother's died. You're going to be maybe not ready to play at some point. So Charles Barkley continues, says, I don't know how this night is going to turn out, but to be sitting on the sideline a few minutes before the game crying, that makes me uncomfortable for him. That's just not a good look in my personal opinion. End of quote. So people go nuts on social media, and they start slamming Charles Barkley for his remarks, and they want TNT to fire him. I mean, come on, he's making a comment observing things on the game. So he's not saying that he's stupid for crying. He's just saying he was he was he didn't think he was ready to go. Your thoughts on this, Fred Dreyer? Well, well look, it's clear what he meant. And... Uh, uh... And and I, I I didn't see it. I, I'm re- I didn't see it I, I'm reading it here. But I, rem- I I I did see clips of I'd say Thomas uh, Isaiah Thomas on the sideline uh, uh, crying. Right. I saw him very upset. He was at practice, and it just happened. And so the delay and the emotion of that, the loss, is ex- is explainable in in terms of. I think Barkley was concerned about it. Don't you? Well, think? I think they're all. They think they all are. But let's yeah. put it this. Let's go the opposite way. It, it, what would be the reason that Charles Barkley would be angry and uh, and say something derogatory about this situation at that time? He, you know, he clearly he was talking about. Uh, you know, he says if you're not ready to play, go in the locker room and uh, you know take handle it and take care of it. But he says on on this stage right now, it's probably not a good look, and and he's probably not wrong. You know, I'm not saying that that I would say it or, or I would feel that way, but but there is a moment there where if if it, it, let's put it this way, maybe what he's talking about is if his brother or sister were killed in a car crash, right. he wouldn't be probably playing. Well, and, and on top of that, you were a, a, a lot of people don't know this. You for a few years were a CBS football color commentator and you've talked about some of the color commentators that are around today just not talking about the real spirit of the game i think barkley's looking at this saying that hey he doesn't have the right emotional look to maybe help out in this game or something don't you think that that's what he's it, trying to it, point well, it out to I'm, the audience I'm, I'm sure that's probably what it was i don't see why again like i said i don't see why would charles barkley pick on a guy yeah. uh, and jump on him like that so so uh, but the interesting thing here is forget what charles barkley said the interesting thing is 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 the stupid of people calling on him to be fired by TNT. That, to me, is what the story is about. The story is about that, not Charles Barkley's opinion. It's like Bill O'Reilly getting fired on Fox News. The guy's number one for 21 years. He's probably got some problems. He's paid people off. He's getting lawsuits against them. And so they fire him after they sign him to a new contract, and they have $18 million they got to pay him, and then they release him from the contract. I mean, a lot of things happen to a lot of people in, in this life, and I think everyone, uh, you know, if it's a, a, against the law or there's something you can be sued for, you can get sued for it. But to make it so that the guy gets fired, I think you're cutting away the guy's livelihood. I, I don't know. I just I feel that. Well, way. I, I I don't disagree. It's just that uh, you, you know, if if I'm somebody, if it's me, I'm not playing. That's it. I say, look, my sister was just killed here hours ago, moments right. ago. I'm done. I'll see you later. Good luck. And and the teammates would understand that. 
And so and so here he is trying to push through it. And they said, you okay to play? Yes, I'm okay to play. Just give me a moment here. And he has, and he breaks down. He goes in and out of, of, of losing focus for the game. Charles Barkley addressed that, that moment in time, which was a true sentiment. It was true f- coming from Isaiah Thomas. It was also true coming from Charles Barkley and his opinion. That's what he's paid to do. Give you an opinion. And that's what he did. And then you've got stupid people, really stupid people now, really uh, a, a, emotional. Yeah. You know, I call it puppy petting. You know, you got people out there who are so emotionally uh, uh, screwed up that they decide, well, you have to fire him. Just like the just, just like the, the the tennis reporter, the color commentator who you know who made a comment on uh, Serena Williams. I believe it was her when when he, he said she was applying guerrilla tactics. Yeah. G U E R I L L A guerrilla tactics, yeah, like, yeah. not G O, which is the animal. Yeah, exactly. And so uh, people go you, nuts. You you have an overreaction today in this country, and anything that they can do to make no uh, news and make noise, they do. And, and Charles Barkley, by the way, people don't know, has lost. Uh, he's lost people in his life. Also, he lost two brothers. So I didn't know get that. Your comments on this? Go to Twitter, Fred underscore Dreyer. Uh, you can follow him on Facebook.com forward slash the real Fred Dreyer and email him Fred Dreyer at crntalk.com. Fred Dreyer at crntalk.com. All right, we're going to take a, a little break here in a second, but I do want to talk about the NBA. Also, find the uh, the Boston Celtics Marcus Smart $25,000. Apparently, this guy is a guard for the Celtics. Find $25,000. He made an obscene gesture toward a fan during one of the playoff games. And uh, <laughs> the uh, Celtics coach, Brad Stevens, said his, his actions were unacceptable. <laughs> he missed a three-pointer, and apparently some fans got on him. And so, I mean, you got to have everything. you got to be in control a little bit. When You know, it's part of the game, isn't it? You well, must have heard fans shouting at you sometimes in the stands, didn't you? Yeah, but we, did, we didn't have it recorded. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's I, a, we said, we did a lot of things. It never was rec- we have people twenty five thousand people sticking a cell phone in your face every time you said something. That's very true. We continue straight ahead here. It is the sports lounge. That's Fred Dreyer and Michael Horn from CRN, the Competition Radio Network. Welcome to Staples. Staples guy, I need some things for the office, but money is tight. Well, now at Staples, we're celebrating HP Savings Month. You'll find big savings on great HP products all month long. Save big on HP? How big? Right now, get up to $180 off an HP PC. Whoa, mind blown. You're the third one this week. Now, during HP Savings Month at Staples, get up to $180 off an HP PC and boost your productivity with a dependable HP PC. Ends 422.17. See storestaples.com slash HP month for details. Restrictions may apply. It's here, the biggest flooring event of the year, Lumber Liquidator's 14th Annual April Sale, with five days of once-in-a-lifetime prices on top-quality North American and European laminate from 49 cents, pre-finished hardwood from just 119, bamboo from 139, get wood-look waterproof floors from 59 cents, limited-time deals on small lots from 29 cents, and more, plus special financing. Don't miss it. New deals added daily. Get to the April Sale at Lumber Liquidator's today. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy, and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. Well, 
Welcome back here to the lounge. Michael Horn along with the one and only Fred Dreyer. Let's get into some baseball news if we can here, Fred. So uh, it looks like uh, Derek Jeter is getting a little serious. Now, he's been dating uh, J-Lo, as you know, and uh, he's now teamed up with uh, Jeb Bush, who ran for president. And uh, Oh, no, is it, that's not Derek Jeter. I'm sorry. Derek Jeter's not. No, he's dating married. J-Lo. Yeah, What's his face? Uh, the third baseman's do, doing all that stuff over there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause a problem Wait a with minute. Derek Jeter's relationship. You should be fired for that blunder. That's, that's true. So Derek Jeter is getting serious about buying the Marlins, and he's teaming up with a guy from Florida, Jeb Bush, to try to do this. And uh, this could be a big deal. I th- the Bush family, uh, you know, former President George uh, W. Bush, Owned the Texas Rangers, and I went to a game one time there and was treated. He didn't know who he, I was. He, he barely, treated me wonderfully. He barely owned it. But he was wonderful when they had it. It was his first great organization. So maybe with Derek Jeter, kind of a class act of the Yankees, right? Am I oh, right? Derek, I mean, if you if you want anybody to represent uh, the, the, the sport and character and uh, and what have you, it's Derek Jeter. Yeah. So, so he's teaming up with Jeb Bush, which, you know, He's a big power broker there in in, uh, in Florida, and uh, uh, you know Jeff uh, Marlins owner Jeffrey Loria has been looking to sell his club. We know that Loria is a pretty good guy. He had the he's owned it since it was up in Montreal or something, wasn't it? He Jeff? should he should not own the team. Really? No, he he you know he he's look at the team. What they, about the team? It's a pretty it's good terrible. Team. Yeah, they're doing all they're right. They're terrible. Come on. They're a terrible team. So anyway, it's worth nine hundred forty million dollars, twenty fifth amongst thirty major league clubs. Here's the problem: yes, the, the, the Major League Baseball stuck this franchise, Tampa, the Marlins. They should now not have teams in those cities. Why? Because they, they can't don't support draw. It. Okay, all right. But they don't maybe, draw. Maybe if Derek Jeter's the owner of this thing, and maybe, by the way, I think Alex Rodriguez is having an affair with Derek Jeter's wife. Maybe that's That's uh, what it is. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe Alex Rodriguez would No, we'll, we'll, we'll get remember. someone on that, and we'll, we'll find that out. Gonna... But the other thing else is that in football, you've got the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's another Florida city that's terrible. What, is what it the about? hell's going on? I'll tell you what's going it's on. It's college football, right? Well, it, it's college football in, in Jacksonville for Florida games. Yes. But it's a retirement city. It's, those, that, those, those, are, those, those places are, uh, you know, I mean, come on. They, they, don't, they don't have the depth and the masses. of to All those people that live down there are, are fishing, for crying out loud. That's- they are. They're, they're fishing. They're in Cuba. They're uh, they're down in the Keys. Uh, getting some, you know, well, they're getting some marlin. You know, when 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 the bomb goes off here in in, in North America, those people are the last to know about it. Well, hey, here's another big story too that's breaking, and this is you know Tim Tebow was hitting those home runs in the minors and all that stuff. He has another backup opportunity in case he doesn't make it into professional baseball. Apparently, he's expressed his um, in case he loves. He loves Mel Gibson, and he said he would be interested in doing a uh, star in a Braveheart sequel. Well, of course he would. What else would he like? Sorry, Tim Braveheart. Did you want to have the the, the first seat to go to to go to Mars? I mean, you know, this guy. You know, it's uh, su- suddenly. You know, we're we're now having to. What else do you want to do, Tim? I want to be in Braveheart. What else? What else? Tell us, Tim. What else you want to do? Good. What else do you want to try to do? Now, here's a guy, the Angel Pagan. One of the he was a spark plug for the San Francisco Giants. They started off slow. They're starting to get a few wins together now, but he was part of uh, the two of the San Francisco Giants World Series teams. And he, apparently, he's in Puerto Rico now. And he told the newspaper there he's decided not to sign up with any franchise this season. He left the door open for a return maybe next year. But he was in an interview in that newspaper. He says, "I'm dedicating myself to focusing more on my family." Uh, devoting the time that my family deserves. I've spent a lot of time away from home, uh, and he'd been with the Giants since 2012, became a free agent after last season. and said his major objective was putting family first in his decision to take time off. What do good you think for him. That? Good for him. It's good, right? Yeah, enough already. He's played, what, uh, 15 years in the league? Yeah. He's got enough money. And, uh, you know, right now, believe me, if, if, if he still was viable, then he'd be in the league somewhere. He, well, he's was up in the air because the Giants uh, didn't bring him back after. Uh, Why do you think that is? Well, probably they think he's too old or something. Well, but he's I think thirty-five he, years old, thirty-six yeah. years old, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, that's true. Well, okay. I mean, he, he's had his run. They would probably rather put that money toward a twenty-three-year-old guy. 
Well, maybe. That's the business anyway. Yeah, was, but, you know, it's good for him. I like him. I like him as a player. I thought he was a good player. And that's get, a good decision. It's a good story. He used to get the uniform dirty of that yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Kind he'll of, take his kids uh, fishing, and uh, you know what they'll do, what they do down yeah, there. Adrian Gonzalez, the Dodgers, is sort of like not hitting the ball in the clutch situations. Stop and, by, pick up Adrian, and then I'll go fishing. Are you that's, what the, that's what we got to do. Yeah, Let him go and relax a little bit. Maybe yeah. he needs some time off. He does need some time off. And, um, you know, all I can say is it's, it's tough. Who the, the Angels guy hit his 593rd home run the other days on the big 593? list. 593? 593 home runs. That's a milestone. It is. But, Gotta be, you know, get up to the 600 He should have been doing it as a Cardinal, and and that's what it was, and that that's a big mistake. Pujols should yeah, talk. Albert Pujols, but he's getting up there in age, too, but he can still knock it out of the park. Do we have time enough to talk about this? Yeah, uh, we'll come back to that. we got a big uh, – let's tease on this one here. Apparently Major League Baseball – getting a C-plus in some of their uh, hiring uh, practices. And also, the Major League Baseball umpires are uh, maybe going to be on mic soon. So instead of just going oh, and saying perfect. safe or out, perfect. they're going to get on a mic and we can... That's exactly what you need. Uh, attention fans, after no. careful review, his hand did not touch the base. Yeah. So okay. it'll explain it for you. Yeah, then they're going to go into a huge... Now they're going to take diction lessons. Then they're going to have to do a lot of this stuff. Shut everybody up and maybe, go back to the way it used to be. Maybe. Get rid of the cameras on, on baseball calls. I miss Tommy Lasorda. I miss all these managers running out to second base to argue. I'm with you. Maybe they could have the umpires maybe sing a couple of songs and do it. Maybe an old barbershop quartet. Right, if they got a mic before the game starts, that all gang of mine. The legends of Kaanapali Luau at the Kaanapali Beach Hotel will take your breath away with an abundant feast, spellbinding dances, and music from Le Pono Productions. Be greeted with a lei and browse to see island crafts made by local artisans. As you hear the poo or conch shell blow, your luau experience will begin. The featured entree is a whole roasted pig and a bountiful menu of some of Hawaii's favorite food choices. Oh, you can't forget our famous made in house taro poi. As your night comes, to an end under the spell of the moon. Be amazed by the famous firewalk. By the end of the night, you'll be full and we hope you'll have made new friends and some forever memories while you continue to listen to music from Maui's local Hawaiian musicians every Monday night at Hawaii's most Hawaiian hotel. Kanapali Beach Hotel voted best Aloha Spirit by Hawaii Magazine readers. Call 667-0128 or visit legendsofkaanapali.com for your exciting island adventure. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call SmartFares, plus save up to 75% on your plane reservation. So call right now. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. See, and listeners, when you come to Southern California, stop by a great restaurant, the Dresden Restaurant at 1760 North Vermont Avenue in Hollywood. Enjoy great entertainment, like the music of the legendary Marty and Elaine at the world-famous Dresden Restaurant. The Dresden was a location for the making of the movie Swingers. Now you can swing with stars Marty and Elaine. Plus, enjoy great food, too, like French onion soup, artichoke hearts, and many other great appetizers. Seafood? There's salmon, shrimp scampi, New Zealand orange roughy, halibut, Lake Superior whitefish, and specialties like veal marsala, piccata, and parmigiana. Plus, we've got a great roast rack of lamb, chicken piccata, and cordon bleu, and pasta dishes, too. Steaks? Filet. New York. Chateaubriand for two. Much more, too, including pork chops, prime rib of beef, and an incredibly extra large cut of prime rib. It's the Dresden Restaurant, open for lunch Monday through Saturday and dinner Monday through Sunday. Check us out at 1760 North Vermont Avenue or call 323-665-4294. Lounge, the Sports Lounge, Michael Horn 
the one and only Fred Dreyer. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us. You yeah. can send us an email. Talk about anything we talked about. Fred will read them on the air in the email segment. Fred Dreyer at crntalk.com. So Major League Baseball, they've done this survey. They've celebrated their 70th anniversary. Jackie Robinson breaking the color barrier 70 years since that happened. And there's a new diversity report out that is finding Major League Baseball, the league, could be doing a better job of identifying and then hiring minority and female candidates for top decision-making levels. They have an annual report card. They released it this last week. The Institute for Diversity and Ethics, as soon as you hear that, you know you're in trouble, uh, from the University of Central Florida, shows a drop-off from a year ago. And they say Major League Baseball received a B in racial hiring, a C for gender hiring, and an overall C-plus grade this year. So uh, there you have it. You, you, you know what's really funny to me? There's so many things wrong with this. Yes. Number one is, uh, right uh, as I'm uh, uh, scanning this, Yes. is that we have a failed educational system in this country. Correct. Flat out failed. It's not an opinion. It is failed. And here, here they are applying a scholastic structure to the grading system. A, B, and C. Who, who in the hell over there says, uh, the way I see it, we've decided it's a C minus. Not a C plus or a C or average or anything else. They, they, they're so specific. They so tie it down to where they're, where, where they're giving you the, uh, the opinion, they're giving you the feeling that their opinion is so scientific and so dialed in that we're going to be this specific. You can't be this specific. In, in any, not when in you're any of this. not when you're hiring based on performance, for God's sake. Well, well, like, well, well, look, that's what you want. You're not just hiring because you got to have a minority or a female. You got to have performance. So they're saying Major League Baseball got a uh, this uh, eighty. They received the score of eighty two in racial hiring, down from ninety point five so last year. So what? So what? Next year it'll be uh, ninety point uh, ninety six or something. Who knows? Well, it's like if you or I were sitting here uh, having a grading system. System on uh, on uh, on on uh, what we think that the Dodgers should do in the eighth inning, and we run out and start interviewing people and say, "Do you b- agree that the Dodgers should uh, d- do the following in the in the eighth inning?" And they say, "Well, no, not really." And then we start to say, "Well, wait a minute, uh, we got to we're, we're going to criticize you. We're going to ask you to comment on what we have come up with." Well, I don't care what you've come up with. You know, all these people here are saying we have a study here. We have an academic study, and, and right. we're in Central Florida, and we've done this study, and we realize that America's racist. Well, that, that's your opinion. I don't think it is. There you go. I it? don't think it is. But here's what's interesting about this, is that this is specifically engineered. This is social engineering. This is politically engineered. The study is, yes. It's, it's politically engineered. To it, make the result it, what they want it to be. Yeah, it's, it's, like, a, it's like global warming. Yes, does, is the war, does, the, does the globe heat up and change? Yes, it does. Well, who causes that to happen? Well, are you mean to tell me that, that, that human beings now are actually causing the world to go up and down in, in heat when it's been proven time and time again that it doesn't? You know, we it's 70 years have passed since Jackie Robinson. I think Jackie Robinson would be turning over his grave. He knew we're still trying to put grades on this thing. Jackie Robinson came in because he loved the game of baseball, wanted to play. Branch Rickey said, this guy should play. Color should not be a part of it. Yeah, And, and I'm right. not hearing stories about baseball players or managers not getting the job because of their color or whatever. Maybe females aren't in the game, but there'll be a female someday. They have the show on Fox. It's like, give it a rest already. I'm so sick of this, it makes me nuts. Well, look, at you... You've got a politically correct culture, and it's going to kill us if we don't stop this. And this is one of the one of the uh, one of the tremendous examples of this stuff. Comment to Fred. Follow him on Twitter, Fred underscore Dreyer, Facebook.com forward slash the real Fred Dreyer, and by all means, send us an email on this. Fred's email address is Fred Dreyer at crntalk.com. F R E D D R Y E R at crntalk.com. Are you tired of hearing your favorite talk radio shows sound like this? What if you could hear your favorite shows in crystal clear, high definition digital sound? Well, with CRN Digital Talk Radio's six channels of high definition radio, you can now hear all of your favorite hosts like you've never heard them before in CRN HD.